Looking good. Fat is your friend. You get into a state that's called ketosis. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Wow. Everything looks great, Olaf. Just keep pushing Excellent. through. Excellent. You can take this to the bank. Olaf's going to validate the whole notion of a high-fat, low-carb, ketogenic type of diet. In 1952, my grandfather qualified for the Olympic marathon. He did it in a time of 2 hours, 40 minutes and 41 seconds. Now, I'm on a quest to match his time and hopefully break it. Now back in 1992, the US government issued a doctrine that we should all be low fat or no fat. And within 10 years, rates of diabetes in America went up threefold. Doctors have been telling you for years that you've got to cut out the fat. Absolutely nonsense. Olaf has adopted this incredibly powerful lifestyle and dietary program, really mimicking what humans have eaten for a couple million years. And when you look at the metrics, as demonstrated from his work up at the University of Florida, it's over the top breathtaking. He's got this incredible physiology now, really based upon this dietary shift away from carbohydrates and favoring dietary fat. Everything lands or loads very nicely. Very efficient running. Your metabolism looks great. Okay. Three, two, one, and let's bring you down. Okay, he's hanging on. How hard Woo! were you working again? How hard were you? Olaf has done a great job with his conditioning and his nutrition. Your maximum heart rate was 192. You've got perfect heart, no indication of any heart disease whatsoever. You exceeded 70, which is, is quite astounding. That's fantastic. For 99.9% .9 of our time on this planet, we didn't have sources of carbohydrates. People say, well, give us this day our daily bread. It's in the Bible. We've always had bread. Not true. What really surprised me is how long you were able to hang on to using fat for fuel. We know that Olaf's eating a lot of eggs, 30 to 40 eggs per week. <laughs> eggs contain saturated fat. We've all been told to avoid saturated fat, and nothing could be worse for us. We desperately need saturated fat. Thank you for watching my short film, and I'd really be excited if you could help me finish this project. Take the sugars and carbs out of the human diet, revisit the idea that we need fat and we'll once again experience good health.